Dark and Bacardin. This is the Salutations. This is the Raven Stream. We have, as you can see, with some Monster Palm. And as you can see, the members of the cool present is Viola, JK Lantern, and Star, Prin Star Princess HLC. Yo, uh, we're gonna try this. Hopefully, it works. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello! Hello, my darling, hello, my baby, true. Quack. 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 You know, the fun thing is, I saw a new piece, piece of a uh, third part of homebrew stuff for D&D. &D. Duck people. Duck people. Duck people. Duck people. Let's see. Just making sure the sound's on. Just think it'll be low. Mm. Oh, I am player one. Okay, who does everyone else want? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not terribly picky. Um I, I just know the name I'm going to use. Regardless of what <laughs> of what gender identity I have. Okay. Uh, uh, custom. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's see here. Player two is. I am player two. Okay. Ah, you're cutting the chat. Yay! Woo! I don't have the chat pulled up because that involves me opening up another browser and. Yo. Uh, okay, your player three. Your computer's not a potato as it is. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm waiting to see what this winds up as. <laughs> nice. She's a fire starter, a trusted fire starter. <laughs> oh god, what a horrible monstrosity are you going to do? <laughs> I'm <an officer. laughs> Johnny Three Dicks rides again. Yes. And Yoko's from Marking Lantern Y. Because, because, because Nathan's not here. <laughs> because Nathan's not here to stop me. <laughs> uh, God, it's been so long since I've played this, I don't actually remember like the best ways to go about everything, but who cares? I'm just going to... I'm not going to be trying for any secrets or anything in particular. I'm just going to be doing this for fun. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Why is he a younger movie than... <laughs> money. <laughs> money. Money, money, money. Turtle! It's... Turtle! <laughs> ah! Did not mean to click that. <laughs> I'm rich. Yeah. Pop. Let's see. Uh, who do I want to do? Zoe or Damien? <laughs> 
Oh god. Oh god, both the voices. <laughs> both of these options are terrible for everybody else. <laughs> Uh, I see. Obviously. <laughs> you never know when you might need to uh, breed, like, say, a um, dog-cat person and the last of an ancient humanoid race. <laughs> Yoko is mucking, I can do a less painful, more fun girly. The... Yes, even Pum agrees that, uh, yeah, Yoko can do a very nice show, Zoe. Yeah. <laughs> L like, I, when I did Zoe, like, uh, obviously, um, I, I am not a fangirl because of obvious reasons, uh, <laughs> but, uh, like, like, I was just going for Eldridge, but, like, I, I, if you want an actual good Zoe... Literally anybody else in the crew. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Raven, where are you going? Oh, come on. Of course, it's the first turn. That day while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have decided to give you a fixative blowjob. Come on. It's always the first turn this has a mess up, doesn't it? Mm. Come on. You can do it. Oh, okay. Come on. It loaded somewhat for me. Come on! It it's not loading for me. Same. Right now we're just kinda of sitting on the selection. Yeah. Uh we're going to hot seat it's hot seat, aren't we? Probably. Yeah. Come on, work. Yeah, it's weird because I can see it just fine on the Twitches, but I was hmm. just going to be a bit below. Technology. Indeed. Yoko, uh, shush. Okay, this ain't working. So plan B, hot seat. Hot seat. Hot seat. <laughs> okay. Oh, that load. <laughs> and now I'm going to have to share this. Yoink. There we go. Yoink. I can close that out, yada yada. Oh no, I can actually see the chat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was me. Uh, who was player two? Me. I think, yeah, I think it was Viola. And who'd you go I for? I was the blue one. This V. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> 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 Aha! Johnny <laughs> Three Dicks! <laughs> Nay. <laughs> to say I'm not happy about this is. is a thing. Hmm. Then race invades Earth and blah 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 blah. Uh, da, da, da. uh, the second option. Yeah. Mm. Three. My favorite type of coffee is vodka. <laughs> Make it with bones. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Try to produce mm. a movie. The second option. Uh, I guess the first option? I will take the second option. Yoko's telling, <laughs> you to, Yoko's telling you to stop the vodka. <laughs> Never. <laughs> vodka is not my hard liquor of choice, generally. Um, mm. Rainbows and gummy bears, because yes. Rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate on fire. Oh, nice. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with chocolate on fire. I'm just supposed you to go for meat. Deal breaker for a potential lover. It don't matter because I'm not going for any of them. But it's just boring. The yeah. person uses internet ex because no, <laughs> just don't use internet <laughs> explorer. <laughs> that, that that's actually why I have to have multiple browsers open when I'm using Twitch. Hmm. Uh, hates the outdoors. Uh, there you go. Yay. The person thinks Asuka is the best waifu. Clearly, Star is the best waifu. <laughs> oh, smooth. <laughs> nice. I got right now. An epic dodgeball mass takes place. Everything seems lost. You deliver the inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> plus two charm. You spent half an hour arguing with Liam about which celebrities are into di polio diets. Paleo diets, and he's about to put an end to it. Okay, this is going nowhere. Let Wikipedia be our judge. Hey, Damien, let me your phone. I need to check something. Hey! He's back! Wait, wait, hang on. <laughs> hang on. I, I, da Damien actually would say this differently. Hey. <laughs> What's this? The most fabulous pixie haircuts for this spring summer summer season. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, no, my porn. What? Oh, Damien is checking out fabulous hairstyles. Let me see. That's so sweet. We want to see. Ah, look, I have a hair fetish. What? It's okay. It's clear Damien is losing his seat over this. You can feel kind of responsible. It is your fault. So, the least you can do is handle some. Damage control by ha by stopping Miranda and Polly from seeing his phone to divert attention by making money rain or turn his phone into a bird. Hmm. Yeah, bird. Hmm. I, mean, I know which one Lancer would hate. Friggin <laughs> birds. <laughs> Before anyone can check it, check Damien's phone. You improvise a spell. Get magic skills from one point to the bird is, and the phone is surrounded by a very magical and a very very owens cloud then there's no more phone it's a majestic ho hopey bird emerges from Damien's hand friggin birds <laughs> <laughs> mm. look marry a bird ah, air people attack ah. 
wait, Mary, uh, it's just a bird. Not all birds are trying to assassinate you. It's probably Ogosan. Aha! I have found the pudding and the sexy babes I have. Save the pudding! What a great, <laughs> what, what a great spell, Laven. I totally get your sentiment. Nowadays, we're way too attached to our, addicted to our phones. We should get so, so addicted to something even better than phones. Like birds. I will eat all of the birds. Ah, beloved pet! Shut up! <laughs> If you excuse me, I'll leave this t to turn some phones into birds. People will thank me later. No, they won't. They'll just try and kill you, the hell. <laughs> Mr. Saturn will appreciate it. Joke's on you, I'm already dead. <laughs> Thanks! To the birds! He's still a bit intrigued but whole fabulous hairstyles thing, but... For you now, gain two plus two creativity and one smart. Hmm, let's see. Hmm. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm gonna go to the auditorium. That there, while we're rehearsing. Ah, we've already done this one. Your performance is intentionally inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. Plus two creativity. Mm. You rehearsed the scene from Mattel two bit processes with Calculester and Miranda. Ah, Paul, alas, Paul Pom is not here. Mm. But it's not going well. Here, little robot friend, let us try a theater game to loosen you up a little. Error! If my bolts were to be loose and I would collapse. Uh. <laughs> no, Calculester, let's try some improv. Remember what I taught you? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> And <laughs> close enough. Now, returning to the text of the scene, alas, it appears the one who has stolen my jewels was you. How dare? Error, invalid input. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I have not stolen, nor would I ever steal any jewels from you, friend Miranda. Calculester, goddammit. <laughs> I can't work under these conditions! I'm going to my trailer, bye. <laughs> <laughs> she needs her trailer surfs. Miranda storms off the huff. Clearly, it must be some way to get Calculester back on track for the play. How can you make Calculester understand how fiction works? Well, clearly, he has to see the performance of David Tennant and Catherine Tate and Much Ado About Nothing. Yes, because it's awesome. Yes. But you have we, we... the options. You have stolen the princess's jewels. Check in your bag. Then frame him by putting some random jewels you stole from someone else in his bag. Calculista, fear is about fixing and the suspense of belief. It's too hard to explain to, to you through spoken language. And now I'm to explain the language of salad. What salad? <laughs> salad. <laughs> salad. Better than milk. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. Do, do, do. I'm gonna go with the bottom ends. Salad. Oh. Uh. Heck. <laughs> oh, ah, the song like it's a sad in combination with the magic of theater. You just think, the theater. You just think we remember. It's yours. Think that you remember the language of salad <laughs> as we've spoken to you when you were played the title role of Cockatrice Basilesque in Spooky Middle School's production of Bye Bye Basilesque. Boo! You scream while pelting <laughs> calculus with tomatoes. Why would you do this? What is this? This does not feel like an explanation of theatre at all. 
Actually, I had a theater professor who described theater as taking his words, not mine. It's that feeling you get when you pick up a giant lump of shit and you're just frustrated at the world and you're angry and so you take that shit and in a fit of emotion you throw it at the ceiling fan Wh why Th this was legit a lecture i got in the theater class what kind of explanation <laughs> boo you scream again while pel pelting calculating with more tomatoes totally not make the top salad Ye continue to pop tomatoes. <laughs> this feels much less educational and much more like a personal attack. Now you know oh, how no. Cosimato felt. Take oh. this tomato! Yeet! Vegetables are easier to understand for me than speech, since a pattern of vegetables is closer to my first language. Binary code. Yeah. Yeet! And repeatedly thrown tomatoes translates to. Uh oh. Boo. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> and not the fun ghost kind. It is the aforementioned insulting personal attack kind. Well. <laughs> Emotions found: sadness, shame, embarrassment. Oh, no! Eczema. Ketchup. Ketchup. Wait, what? Did people not like you as Cockatrice Basilisk? You always thought the boo and the tomatoes were a compliment. Oh, hey. This heart breaking re revelation causes you to immediately lose free bonus as your confidence shatters. Oh, no! Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Eh, we can go to class. Nice. That day you listen to the elders and learn viable lessons. Sometimes after all the messy and monster nonsense and dating game, you forget the, that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. The game plus two smarts. You already have so much smart. Oh my god. <laughs> Another class, another opportunity to work super hard to not learn. I feel like we've been in class for my whole existence. I feel like I was born in class. I feel like I died in class! Oof. Is that the other way around? I did die in class. That's exactly how I died. I died of boredom in this class. That's why this class is haunting me forever. Ooh, what's that cloud of black smoke? I farted. Yeah, that's the three, <laughs> 300 of a variance on how she died. It is time, students. Time to leave this inter interminable class. It... Dope, I'm listening. To join the dark side and end this reign of light. That shirt's wearing. <laughs> Stupid shirts. Maybe he has sensitive nipples, like Drax. Hmm. Fierce and fiery <laughs> demon and untamed poltergeist. Oh, po polygeist. <laughs> 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 uh, I know, I'm not going to say it, yo. It's just a party for not forgive me. <laughs> I get it now. Together we can bring darkness and destruction to this world. Don't do it. It's not too late to take back your pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do a similar but slightly different joke. <laughs> I was expecting you to go meep. I, I mean, there is also meep, but <laughs> I pledge allegiance to Queen Frag and her mighty state of hysteria. <laughs> what? We didn't pledge or anything. You can tear up that contract written in the blood from your very heart and free yourself. 
Take it from us. Dimitri knows a thing or two about making hearts bleed. Oof. You best baby. <laughs> Yours were not the only hearts which bleed. Not literally because I'm a vampire. I don't have blood in my system except the blood I drink. But I'm just <coughs> saying, my heart too has been broken. My allegiance divided. My soul torn asunder. Okay, cool. But if we join the dark side, we get out of this class, right? Yeah, uh, get out of this class and being out and out of be and out of being your date to Monster Farm. Quick, give a give, give them both a reason not to join the dark side. I feel this is the one where you do the one with the grandma, so... Oh god, it's grandma again. Oh, oh no. they touched me! <laughs> <laughs> grandma! Yeah. Back into the home! <laughs> what? Grandma's on the dark side? <laughs> Indeed, Damien. <laughs> And Jonah the Dark Side has kept a young and numb nubile and a fucking god. <laughs> when the two of it No! No! Whoa! Hold up! Hold up! You're fucking my grandma! Don't know what. Did you try the strapping young stable boy and the young milk virgin again? <laughs> kill me! Kill me now! <laughs> <laughs> I prefer to figure corrupt in the spirits with my magic genitalia. <laughs> but you can use the low, low brow terminology if you wish. Also, kill me now. She won't let me go. The dark side ain't worth this. Not cool, dude. You didn't even think to ask me before boning down in Grandma Town. I guess before boning your grandma. <laughs> Wash your mouth out with soap. Oh, that's a fun one. I barely even know you. Unlike your grandma who I know very well. Help me! Oh. Help me! <laughs> In the pod. <laughs> oh, so one minute it's like, hey, you're so great. Come join the dark side with me. But as soon as my grandma's gooch is on the line, it's like, Nah, bro, I don't even know who you are. I see how it is. Dark side? More like dick side. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all the sweet talk about grandma sex makes me wonder if my babushka is okay. I'm gonna call her. Thanks, Firestarter, for reminding us the importance of caring for our grandparents and saving them from being seduced by the dark side into lots of evil sex. Yes, say the grandma. Save me! Save me! She didn't say. Save me! Touch me! She didn't say to all. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, grandma saved the day by stopping. Friends from joining the dark side, even if Damien's grandma had to take one for the team. He had plus two bonus, so one <laughs> fun and... And the amount of mental bleaks that we needed to clean this from our brains will be insurmountable. Johnny Three Dicks is going to the bathroom because he has three dicks and all three of them need to pee. Later, Yoko. Let's see here. Okay. That day you skip class and just head out, head out to the bathrooms because you respect no authority. As he sews up his hoodie. To his arm in the process. Yeah. Guess some people just want to watch the world burn. By skipping class and yeah. hanging out in bathrooms. Oh, you pretentious rebel. You give zero sits, but you get two bonus. Okay. Does he even have a bowel? You see Damien about to punch some noob. My sonny and... Oh, fucking hell, he's back. My sonny and the man's still possible. I'll put up with the two of them. Hey, what the hell? I was about to punch that noob! 
There will be plenty of noobs to punch my fearsome paramour when you are mine. Hi, Maximilian Pegasus. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What? I have traveled across time and space to find a fit commander for my armies and for my bedroom. Oh, uh, so you can put your armies in your sleeves. And my millennium, <laughs> millennium eye tells me you're the ideal exact my... subject for my approval. Words. I also have the millennium strap on. Oh my. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, this game brings out the absolute worst in me, doesn't it? It brings out the worst in all of us. Oh, you want me to come over to your kingdom so we can kill people and fuck and fuck the killed people and kill the fucked people? Let me touch me! No! <laughs> Grandma, what are you doing here? I got bored with the Dracula man. Help me! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it so quite so crassly. Well, I would, and that sounds doper than hell, which isn't hard because hell is lame, but still! But if you need guys to another dimension to fucking kill people, how would he fucking kill people with you? There's only one thing to do. Defeat, Let's see here. Defeat the Prince's entire city army using nothing but a calendar and a grapefruit. So down in the picture of the Prince's army's wearing clown shoes and atlas chaps. I'm gonna do the colander and grapefruit. Mm. And with your trusty colander, yeah. go to the helm and furious grapefruit you charge through the rifts. Grapefruit in everyone in the face. The army turns out to be just three yeah. dudes. One of them is three dudes. One, one of these dudes is just two toddlers in a trench coat. I still need to make a three hobblings, halflings in a trench coat <laughs> character for D&D at some point. <laughs> you strain the sit of them, squeezing grapefruit juice into their wounds and toss what's left into a volcano. Oh, oh no. yeah. First of all, you're nice doing the entire thing, but then you need to watch back home. When you get back, he's applauding. Also, people are bitching because the stream's lagging again. Yep. Mm. Holy shit, that was wicked! I've never seen someone be so gratuitous as a grapefruit! Are you Citrus Man? Yes, I am. I am Citrus <laughs> Man. With with the powers of orange, lemon, lime, and grapefruit. I fight for <laughs> nutrition and for justice. Screw this interdimensional a-hole! I, I want you to teach me about using limes as an offensive weapon! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The prince links back to his kingdom to recruit a new city army while you teach Damien the mysteries a citrus through. You gain plus two charm and plus one bonus. Okay. Yeah. Let's trade places. <laughs> Everyone chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud and loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh. Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Hmm. Um. My dinner with Andre. Uh, the Space Martian movie. I forgot the name of it. But... Um, satellite Girl and Milk Cow. <laughs> You have that right next to your computer, don't you? Yeah, it's like right over there. <laughs> okay. Was that really just like Gil and Milk Cow? Yep. Yep. I don't know. We, we still haven't even seen that yet. <laughs> we have not, no. <laughs> what are the oh, player audience determined on how weird the fandom of the selected film would be? Start debating now. Star. <laughs> Star. <laughs> <laughs> The My Dinner with Andre fandom is mostly film buffs. Mm. So, V, Lanterton, and myself. Okay. Okay, I mean, that works for me. Yeah. Hmm. 
Hmm. Eh, I guess we'll go with the one with Scott. Maybe it's drinking that cost me lunch time Scots, because you can drink whenever the hell you want at this school. And what Scots number can be easy for her. Hey, Vera, hey. What, what are you drinking? Scotch. Why? Because it smells like delicious forest fire. And I'm curious, what's it called? Scotch. Yes? No. That's what it's called. What? Scotch. Yes? No, I'm not saying your name. I'm saying the name of the drink. I'm drinking Gotch. It's mine? No, it's mine. Then why is it called Scotch? That's just what it's called. Oh, it's like an energy drink of Scots. I don't know, what does Nathan say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like an energy drink for Scottish people. Ah, uh, what a time for Yoko to duck out. <laughs> hey, I'm a Scottish person. I'm as Scottish as possible. I'm the most Scot. No. What will it take to get you to drop this issue? Scott's not going to drop it unless you do something. So you cut in and say... Let me see. You're right, Scott. That drink is your birthright. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah. You don't have to tell me five times. Bottoms up. No, what are you doing? Stop. Okay, I just drank the whole bottle, whole bottle anyway. That, that's damned impressive, really. You <laughs> twit. That Scott was brewed for King Tutankhamun himself. King brewed from Tut. I had to have an adventuring archaeologist betrayed and murdered for that bottle. As you do. What? Sorry? Can you say that again? I was blackout drunk from all your Scots I drank. You're impossible. I'm impossible. Hooray! <laughs> you drive Scott away to escape. Hey, Mr. Raff, he spends the afternoon doing all, all your math homework for you. Says how Scott's way smarter when he's blacked out. <laughs> kind of like how I type better when I'm hammered. <laughs> but only with my eyes closed, it turns out. <laughs> I don't know what to go for. I, I actually don't know who this one, so... <laughs> you know what? The eventful table with all the three people. <laughs> yes. There. In a totally normal way, Damien appears to sit down at the same lunch table as the coven. Suddenly you hear a loud gasp from across the cafeteria. Every single one of Zoe's mouth is hanging open. You pull a chair right, chair right as, pull a chair right as Zoe wishes over. Oh God, it's been a while since I've done that voice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it has. <laughs> it really has. Yeah, not since Colonel Sanders. Yep. Uh, uh -huh. Drop it, and by the way, there are only three seasons. Fall, winter, and eternal contemption of the void. I am sure that someone's idea of a very strange AMSR out there, and I get a kick out of it. <laughs> Do you even know about boundaries? No. God damn it, game on his kid. Oh, 
I'm an average abomination. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's contagious. <laughs> Listen, you. We're no longer allies. But that doesn't mean we can't sit at the same table or anything. Listen, it's French fry day. There are only so many fries to go around. We're stealing Liam's. <laughs> we'll just put garlic on him and he can't eat them. It is literally just a lunch table. Just a flat piece of wood with four legs. It means nothing. Quick, you use your bandit's compassion and wisdom to me mediate this minor dispute between your friends. Make it major! Make it major! What? <laughs> this is exactly what someone would say if they were hiding the secret of double crossing and mid season revival alliance moments! If you think you're missing the real comes to here, that lunch table is giving the series fuck me eyes to the cafeteria floor. Uh, <laughs> okay. Brilliant choices. I'm going with the top one. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. I, I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, you're gonna <coughs> Do you need to get a drink for this one? Uh, not, not yet, but, uh... <laughs> Did you just say the word gasp? Like, out loud? Instead of just gasping? No, I very clearly actually gasped. I nearly died. It was terrible. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm still getting used to the non endless dis Rare, the, the emotion sounds like psh and hmph, and especially Kazoo died. Thank you. <laughs> I am totally right. This is obviously a ploy to get me off the scent. Holy moly, I can't wait for this season. God, I love Zoe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gazootide. <laughs> Piss off, woman. Sylvia <laughs> 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 looks overjoyed. <laughs> you better start practicing your own, your own, own muscle signs. Yay, pizza and smooch. Pizza's the most important emotion. Yeah, like. <laughs> that, that, that's basically how Star and I emote to each other. <laughs> yeah. And tacos. P pizza and tacos, which <laughs> I can't wait till that video goes up. Okay, so uh, yeah. okay, try dick. Where do you want to go? Uh, my three dicks need to go to the store. Meow, 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 Money. I am going to the Christmas present. <gasps> oh, God. He's getting the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, because God. I... <laughs> oh, no. Uh... Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh. 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 Mind control lessons. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to remember how this works. Ah, uh, I know what side quest, I know what secret that is. Oh, hi, oh. Raven. It is me, the narrator. Uh, your, fe your friendly classmate who narrates everything that happens here at Spooky High. <laughs> <gasps> Finally, oh. we've been waiting to show this off. Hmm. Yeah, we discovered he was available last time we played. Also, <laughs> also the inside of your minds is basically what? everything, everywhere, ever. It is so nice for you to come by and say hi. I'm glad you're here. Sometimes it gets lonely doing it all, all day, every day. I always see you doing the classic raven racking, wacky stuff. And I wonder if I ever could play a role in that story instead of just being the one who narrates all of it. It'd be such a dream. Oh, Raven, would you... Would you take me on one of your silly misadventures? Please, make me feel like an actual character for once. Hmm, yes, no. Yes! 
Ah, yes. Great. Sweet. I'm so yeah. excited. I just can't and hide it. I just it. can't oh. hide it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. <laughs> what would it be like to be a regular character here in Spooky High? Ooh. Will mine be a scary plotline, a funny one, or maybe a sexy one? Well, given I mean, what you're wearing. I was about to say, that's Ooh. one hell of a package you got going on. Also, I have no nipples, so I'm not sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there are any stats to be gained or lost? I guess we have yeah. to wait and find out. Oh, my. Everyone chooses a song. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, Say your choice out loud and to the rest of your players before clicking. Who's force? Mm. I am a door fandom digging a hole. Digging a hole. <laughs> Pollyanna. Ooh. Tequila. Tequila. <laughs> 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 Oh god. Play audience determine how plausible it would be for you to get an Amish community who you have never heard of before, who have never heard of commercial music super into the song. Well, Hoot Force is not gonna be it. I was gonna say, I think I would have to show them Earthbound first. Yeah. And like I would have to show them Minecraft first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I feel V wins. <laughs> you also be, Tequila! You also, <laughs> you also possibly get a bit drunk at the same time. Hmm. Yeah! I feel like Minecraft would be easier to show to people than Earthbound, so... Probably. <laughs> do 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 <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Stupid bugs. Ah. Sorry, bug went in my eye. Um. Oh, rude. Like... Quite rude. Um. I'm gonna go to. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Because, yeah. Let's go. I need to raise the... that bowl. Let's go to the bathroom. Let's go to the bathroom. That day you sick flash and just hang out in the bathroom because you respect no authority and you just want to get the buzz from that car battery. Yep. Where the bathroom Don't lick it. <laughs> they licked it. You tell yourself Whoops. in the mirror that you're so bold you kill a tiny one eyed turtle with your bare hands. Oh, you will be upset. Mm -hmm. That monster <laughs> that monster that would give you five hundred boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You get to keep this plus two bonus anyway for just saying it out loud. Yay! You <laughs> manage to catch a moment with Calculester. He introduces you to one of his plant friends. Oh! This is my little jade plant friend, Robert Plant. Say hello, Robert. Say all of my love, all of my love, all of my love. I was just thinking, say hello to my little friend. Note, I am aware that Robert is incapable of saying hello, as he is a plant and also a rock singer. Also, he does not have a gender. I am merely engaging in what you organics call imaginative play. Who wants the fungus? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, look at you! You're so cute! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Lance said that was you, wasn't it? It probably no. was. Screw it, I'll take it. Maybe. Oh, look sounds... at you two. You're so cute together. That did sound so hmm. painful. <laughs> You're about to say thank you, but don't you realize we're dressing calculator on his plant? Everyone at the school is so afraid of him. Always flirting, never settling down. It's refreshing to see a robot on a plant actually dating. 
I believe you are mistaken. Robert and I are not dating, actually or otherwise. What? Wait, you aren't? But you care about him so deeply, right? In as much as I understand the concept of caring, yes. And if anything ever happened to him, I'd be devastated, right? I hope. I I would kill you and everybody in this school. <laughs> I would oh. kill for a grapefruit. Um, hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> once again, you have asked me a question about feelings, and once again, I must say, probably. And he's completely dependent upon you for sustenance, correct? Because that's how my relationship works. <laughs> Finally, an uncomplicated question. Yes, this is objectively true. Sounds like you're dating to me, because that's how my relationship is. <laughs> I'm a parasite! I wonder how I wonder how she'd taste on pizza. Hey! What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh dear, I had not considered the possibility that my attachment to Robert Plant might <laughs> might might constitute a romantic entanglement. My love of Led Zeppelin has betrayed us all. <laughs> <laughs> but perhaps, perhaps you are correct. I mean, Led Zeppelin 4 is a fantastic album. <laughs> No. If it keeps on raining, the levee's going to break. You can't let Calculester believe he's dating this plant, unless you was any help in dating him yourself. Quick, prove the couple wrong. Hmm. I see according to this thorough teen magazine, robots and supplements are romantically incompatible. You can't have a relationship with Robert, because I am. The second option. Yes. <laughs> So bold. <gasps> Gasp. The plot the thickens. The plot thickens, I see. V, mm, V, watch your, watch your back. Pom might be after you. <laughs> what are you implying? V... <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been carrying on an affair with Robert Plant this entire time? How do you think yes. we got Audrey too? <laughs> Robert, tell me it is not true. Hello. Note, I continue to be aware that Robert is incapable of speech. Only of singing. That last utterance was merely for dramatic purposes. Just <laughs> you know why. <laughs> and suddenly pandas. <laughs> Ab absence of any evidence to the contrary, I am forced to take you at your word. Re, your secret relationship with my plant friend. <laughs> Warning, feeling detected. Jealousy. Cool. But am I jealous because I love Robert? Or because I love V? <laughs> <laughs> the plot is so thick right now. Oh my gosh. The tables are turning to much. You tell Kukulesa you could have... Uh, you will happily end your affair with, the, with his plight and help him explore his newfound emotion. He seems very grateful. You gain plus two charm and one creativity. Uh, I am going to go to the gym. An epic dodgeball Ooh. match takes place because it always takes place. Yep. It's like all I do is dodgeball. You're so intense about teams, you're so into it, you decide to raise the stakes. You break out the stakes. With steak? <laughs> mm, by pressing part of your charm to the other team's leader's charm. The commitment amazes your whole team, and the spirit is fueled by determination. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> That's why I paused. <laughs> Finally, you win and take two charm from the other team's leader. She's a bit now less fabulous, and you now how also have a bit of a liver at the same time. Mmm, liver. So do you hear but a follow me a nice Chianti? <laughs> mm, I like whatever no. it's like beside us. Farmer beans and nice Chianti. 
Still have never <laughs> seen that movie. Same. You hear the elegant Even... juggling sound of water trumpets. Miranda is about to issue a royal decree. <laughs> I, Princess Miranda Vanderbilt, grant you permission to speak casually with me for a short period. You're welcome. <laughs> We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Yeah, shut Have up. you oh. ever heard a song about fish sticks? <laughs> fish sticks. Not yeah, many. you over there, uh, right. Dave, so Dave, can you shut up for a second? I'm trying to, I'm trying to speak casually with my friend here. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it was awesome at speaking casually. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're speaking casually, I'm really want, I really wanted to tell you about the event of the season. No, not prop. I'm not, 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 not talking about prop. I mean the event of the season for poor people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suddenly uh, reminded of my friend Tony's D and D character. <laughs> I mean the Royal Winter Surf Party mandatory celebration festivity of Surfly Service. <laughs> My serfs and I are total BFF, so I've decided to throw them all a party to celebrate their lifelong mandatory service to the Royal Vanderbilt. And since I love my serfs so much, this party must be the absolute best. I'll spare no expense. <laughs> so, I'll have my serfs build an underwater grand hall for the celebration. It should only take about... 12 days of non-stop back-breaking labor, but, well, plus, we'll need, well, we'll need decoration for the party, so I'll have some serfs get dressed up and tie themselves to the wall. It'll look so cute, don't you think? Oh, totally. <laughs> and we don't want any of my serfs missing the party if their family members get sick, so we'll have to issue a decree. Serfs are no longer allowed to have families. Woo! Isn't that a brilliant idea? <laughs> oh, totally. Oh, I'm the most generous... Generous? <laughs> I'm the most generous princess of all time. But of course, I don't want you to think that I'm spoiling them. <laughs> so, I'll need your mind control classes, just to make sure we don't have any serfs insisting that they value their families or something stupid like that. Why would anyone value them? <laughs> You hand over your mind control class take take to Miranda. She's so good at controlling you, it's terrifying to think about what she do with actual mind control powers. But who cares? You stand this watery bit off. I hate that language. Mm. Oh, I'm just so excited. I feel like singing. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> Suddenly, a double little eel pops out of Miranda's purse. Yes, that's a great idea, Princess Miranda. Let's sing! <laughs> cha cha cha! Miranda starts Ooh. belting, the eel starts singing back up. Wow, this eel It's such... not. It's not unusual to be loved. <laughs> da, 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 da. It's not unusual to have fun with anyone. Da, 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 da. But it... when I see you going out with anyone, it's not unusual to see me cry. I want to die. Why <laughs> is someone singing the song of my people? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma, back in the retirement home. But it's Tom Jones! <laughs> the seaweed is always greener in a democratic way. But my loyal serfs all love my exceedingly high back grade. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Under my rule, under my rule. Serve things no better, they'll serve me forever. Now go eat your gruel. Yes, I'm actually singing this. No, it's probably <laughs> bad. Ow. That was actually kind of awesome, really. Oh. Check, make sure you're not sued by Disney later. <laughs> what a charming little tune. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Who knows, that monarchy could sound so fun. Brenda bowels while you clap enthusiastically. Wow, Princess Miranda, you're amazing. You have the prettiest singing voice in the whole world. <laughs> I 
know, right? <laughs> My executions there made sure that no one in the whole country was a better singer than me. Now, let me introduce my song, sir. Mr. Feel the Eel! No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. I'm the luckiest eel ever because I get to help Princess Marana plan the winter surf party. Indeed you are. That's right. Of course, I need my surf to do most of the preparations for the party, as I'll be entirely consumed by the planning process. The burden of leadership falls upon royalty, after all. <laughs> For example, I'm going to do the difficult mental work of deciding what drinks there will be at the party. Ugh, such a hassle. Now that I've done the first half of the work, I'll leave you two to decide what kind of drinks, how we'll get them, and who's going to pay for them, and all the rest of the planning. <laughs> Have fun! You're so smart, Princess Miranda. We'll take it from here. Yay! I'll leave this to you two, because I need to go recline in a velvet cha chest and gaze out the window with longing. Bye-bye! Oh, wee what an amazing opportunity. <clears throat> Poor death of princess. Oh, my. Wait, what? No need to act... act continue with a charade, comrade. The tyrant out of earshot. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Vanderbilt serfs have united together in hatred, and after years of pain and toil, we shall finally send the princess straight to depths of watery hell. Let loathing boil to surface as we plan her demise. Foolish party she planned will be the setting of assassination. Oh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> and while I care not what the drink fills punch bowl, be sure not to partake. I will add in a massive dose of poison to beverage, ensuring that all of the princess's guards will be deceased by time party is through. Revolution is here! Proletariat rise up! Be the revolution! <laughs> I take leave, comrade. May you dream of end of tyranny, end of monarchy, the end of Princess Miranda. <laughs> I am the man who arranges the blocks that descend upon me from up above. <laughs> Just as I was feeling uh, feel the eel is swimming away. Wait, how is he swimming? You don't understand. You don't understand. He's not underwater. How, did anyone tell this eel how the laws of physics work? Miranda returns. He's half air people. <laughs> I'm back! Oh, that gazing was so exhausting. I assume that you finished planning the drinks? <laughs> Think fast, it breaks Miranda's heart to know her serves are plotting to assassinate her. They can't let her die before the prom. She's only one with a hookup for the underline, underwater limo. So the question is do we want her to live or not? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> well, I've already done the, done the vote where she survives. Well, okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Luckily, I have this pulled up in front of me. <laughs> nice. So, so, so if we want her to die, let's go with the antidote. You know what? Nowadays, cool kids only drink the latest, trendiest Fanta flavor, poison antidote. <gasps> oh, wait, it worked? I love the little bubbles in Fanta. They remind me of the little bubbles that come out when you drown an air person. <laughs> she is delightful, isn't she? Indeed. Yeah. But wait, will my serves be able to handle such a bubbly drink? Hmm. Serves can actually be super fragile. You would think that working all day with one whole bowl of mercury would make them stronger. <laughs> There's only one way to know. Let's test the fans on some real life actual serves. Hey, you two, come here. Hi. Miranda Rounds are free of oh, human testers. And you administer a dose of poison antidote flavored Fanta to all of them. The serves love the flavor and the Fanta counteracts some of the poison the vendor belts are placing in their water supply to keep the populace dose out. Oh my gosh. 
My servants look better. My serfs look better than ever. We'll definitely serve this at the winter surf party. And as a bonus, I'm pretty sure this counts as providing adequate health care. Hashtag best monarch ever. <laughs> I might have resolved a George and you're able to get co coverage under the new monarchy health care plan. You gain plus two on one money. Huh. That was not supposed to actually work. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe <laughs> she's gonna see. die. Up, oh, uh, I'm already smart. Let's keep going to class. Yeah. That day you learn eternal spells that are, that are as cool as they are seemingly useless. I spelled you a new stickers stickiness. I spelled it to turn chocolate, so vanilla ice cream to vanilla and chocolate ice cream. I want ice cream now. A spell to gain plus two smarts. You guys used the last spell. You, guys, you gain two plus two smarts. You're chilling out and not murdering anyone. How dare you? But Dam <laughs> Damien slinks up to you. He's holding a large sack with the words definitely not cops missing on it. Hey, um, you're not going to believe this, but, um... There's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. Oh, really? I had no idea. You <laughs> would never have guessed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least not without my lawyer present. <clears throat> but let's just say he and I apparently had very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I picked rock. <laughs> anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me hide this body real quick. Hmm. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You say you're a brilliant solution. Disguise him as a drinking fountain, no one will know the difference. Just tuck him in my garage. He'll blend perfectly with my collection of Vince's dead bodies. I'll we'll try the first one. Ah. Well, that's the most brilliant idea I've ever heard! But I'm not sure I have enough creativity to actually pull off the disguise. Why don't you do it? Wow, it's a game hint. <laughs> of course, there's someone more creative than you. You pull out your glitter, glitter glue sequins and pipe cleaners and get to work. Do anyone else use pipe cleaners to clean pipes? Nope. 15 hours Blazing later, dragons? Well, actually, no, but... <laughs> 15 hours later, your masterpiece is collected. He actually looks like... Ah, uh, what were you trying to make again? This corpse looks like shit. <laughs> What is that supposed to be? A pile of neon garbage covered in unicorn juice? Absolutely. <laughs> also, why do you feel the need to bedazzle the words this is a dead body across the dead body? Because it would throw them off track. Get away from my dead body before I make you glitter glue your own corpse! Oh, heck. <laughs> Maybe you should stop coming to coming to school on quite so many mushrooms. You lose two smarts on one well. charm. Spoilers, I ate the mushroom that was on that yeti. Yeah. <laughs> did you grow did you grow giant or did you shrink? Yes. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow. Go for the Christmas gift. You know you want to. <laughs> but the narrator. No, I go for something, and I need more. That's boldness, isn't it? I need charm. That weekend, oh boy, and yay! Let's see. Oh boy. <clears throat> Oh, 
Is there any better way oh, to yeah, spend a Saturday night than yeah. just hanging with four of your closest friends? Also, Johnny Dix and Rave Run are there as well. Hi, Dick. Hi. The, the dulcet tones of metal death filled the air. Blood and fire raining down, falling heavy on the town. Tricking devils come to save. This is called for right today. As far as the time when I want songs. I want to kill all the dissidents. I want to hear, want to hear them screaming, flailing around on those. Wait, what's the word again? Oh wait, <laughs> I didn't realize. How Oh, stakes to which they're tied for burning. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So I guess if an open a mouth, only to have a chorus of food bats fly out. Money for us, I guess, is pretty popular. Or at least the least popular, least more popular than Liam's choice. I will now recite the complete works of Fran Kefka backwards at triple speed over the sounds that she's been slaughtered and spice up your life being played simultaneously. You evil bastard! Uh, and, hmm. and it's your turn to karaoke. You need to impress your classmates. And ever since you bombed Mamma Mia, up and up and call by singing nine bars of Natasha Benefield's unwritten up on the old tave, you've been a little skittish about your voice. It is time to struck down by breaking out the the legendary Asian pop song. Whatever that is, a pop song so complex that his rhymes sometimes are said to be near incomprehensible to the untrained mind. That's actually a reference to a Genesis song, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the band Genesis, yeah. but it's also, coincidentally, a uh, reference to the blood code in the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat. Hmm. I'm a nerd! Nerd! <laughs> Sexy nerd. Oh, wow. It's a do that requires... <laughs> Such mouth finesse that, if done wrong, can severely injure the singer's tongues. But oh, God! Who can be as reckless as you, or just for getting some of your classmates' figurey and maybe not so figurey ass? If Miss Chelsea Carroll is saying, "Blah blah blah," pick who, you, who the boldest of the bold. Who do you, who shall it be? Hmm. Yeah, who was the bolder one? I think it has to be Lantern. <laughs> yeah. You and Johnny Fredix head to the bathroom for a quick warm up, doing some fill, trills and scales. Everyone in the in there hates you, but you both know the importance of vocal health. <coughs> in the morning sun, I was waiting till the evening comes. <laughs> watch the ship rolling in, and watch it roll back again. This, this is for sitting on the dock of the bay. Watching the tide <laughs> roll away every day. Watch them roll away, sitting on the dock of the bay, just wasting time. If I may continue, <laughs> this is followed by some tongue twisters in which you and Johnny Free Dicks grab each other's tongues and pull them out as far as your mouth as possible, tie them in knots before untangling them. Start, Lantern, stop flirting. <laughs> Once it's significantly warmed up, you and Johnny Friedix ascend to the says, take the mics and begin your performance of this song I am not pronouncing the name of. <laughs> it's spectacularly beautiful, a song that melts everyone's hearts. And brains. Literally. <laughs> everyone's hearts melt as she through their pores out of the skin and lay on the floor and she can't pull along with her brain seeping out of the ears dripping down. Luckily, it's about... It's during the second... B sex in the song and the part of the sea bridges la Lord Laden what blah 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 all the mounted hearts into a pool into a ball feeding it back to the audience once more as soup. By mm, soup. By the final B sex the first hearts has returned to their rightful place and now filled with love, admiration and the awful for fire fire starter and Johnny Friedrich she gained plus two charm on one creativity. Blah that was long. Great <laughs> places. Everyone chooses a video game. Say your say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. 